Hey guys, it's Annabelle from the Free M's and here's another one for the Getting Sexy playlist. And as I'm on a budget, I'm just showing you the latest design from Primark in the largest size that I could find, which is a 3060. My boobs will never ever be a D cup again, I know that much. But this is just gorgeous, isn't it? The sheen on it, the color of green, the lace trim and yeah. I can't see a D cup boob though fitting in this. I know it's a balcony, isn't it? It's a balcony, it's a corset with a balcony cup. But sometimes you look at the size and you think, can a D cup fit in here? I remember the days when I used to be a D cup. I can't believe my boobs were ever this small to fit in a D cup. It's just, it's just yeah. Although I would love my D, uh, my D cup boobs back again, but it's never going to happen. So yes, this is, I'm telling you, this should be able to be done in an L cup. Come on now. You can't tell me that you can't do this in an L cup. Look how many hook and eyes it has on the back. Like, you're telling me you can't do that in an L cup. It would just mean a thicker strap than that. Like, come on, this could possibly done, be done in an L cup. Come on. Come on, guys. You've got to be able to get some sexier um, lingerie for a woman like me on a journey to feel sexy underneath the awful clothes that I've had to wear. Well, at least I'm clothed, eh? So yes, I'm campaigning as fickle and as shallow and as trivial as it might sound. I'm campaigning for sexier, sexier, sexier sets in lingerie for women who are G cup and above. Come on, tell, give me one good reason, lingerie designers. Give me one good reason, Bravissimo. Give me one good reason, Rigby and Pella, that you can't get something as hot as this in an L cup. I just want one good reason. And if, it, well, if you have an idea, please comment. Let's interact on this. Let's interact on this, because us women do like to feel sexy underneath the clothes that we wear. And this, hell yes. And there's nothing that would actually break. So this isn't getting sexy before the... <coughs> This is actually sexy. Like, there's, I can't see anything on this that would break during a, an, an average woman's day to day. And guess what, guys? It's nine quid. So nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six for me to get something like this in Bravissimo. If they were ever that brave enough to get that sexy for bigger boobs, it would be like thirty-six quid, wouldn't it? Ridiculous, though, isn't it? So yeah. This is the sexiest thing that I could find. And also have check out my uh, dressing gown that I've picked this week. It, it looks more like a kimono. I'm not gonna stand up this time. I'm, I'm so exhausted, I haven't had that much sleep. Um, what do you think of my skin this week? I think I've done well with the sun care, the water and the toiletries. I think I've done well for a rough sleeper. I think I've done very, very well for a rough sleeping woman who's close to 40 when it comes to looking after the skin i still refuse to buy sexy clothes and do sexy hair my hair is not sexy right now it's just because i don't have access to a hair dryer at the weekend so i've got to do it the old school way come on back there was what century was what year was a hair dryer or heated hair hair styling tools invented i think it may have been the 60s or the 70s right because you guys were ironing your frizzy hair with irons on an iron board weren't you I know 80s is when the crimplers come out, but the hair dryers must have, it must have been the 60s. There's no way you guys had hair dryers in the 50s. So yes, I'm not gonna be discussing sexy hair, but this is just why I've managed to make a little bit of an effort I'm trying to practice with uh, maintaining the hair for a little that I have left. So yes, this uh, dressing gown, we <laughs> got off the point a little bit. The pattern is cute, I'd say. It's got a nice sheen to it, like a faux satin, faux satin. I can't even tell you how much it is. How much is it now? How much is this outfit, uh, this dressing gown? It's usually about 19 quid. Whoa, Primark. <laughs> 19 quid for this little dressing gown. It does come below the knee, which is nice. Usually they come above the knee what do you think of it i mean it's been a while since i've been able to see a dressing gown that a new design in a dressing gown shall i say <sighs> How, 
what what can I say? I've got to stick to the basics. Sun care, water and sleep. Oh, I am lucky if I get four hours sleep after a little bit of creative writing and a little bit of university assignments, deadlines. I'm lucky if I get four hours sleep. So the sleep has been dramatically reduced. To the point where I'm sitting there in lectures, falling asleep, struggling to keep my eyes open. To the point where I'm on public transport. <laughs> you know, that's me on public transport with like less than four hours sleep. But like I said, this is going to be the toughest year ahead coming in my life that I've ever, ever, ever been. So you're about to hear another rant in the next video. Just a minute.